Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barel, and man, do I have a guru for you today. I was actually looking at some, you see all these things I do in 3D printing, some of them, of course, like that baby, you know, uh, Grogu, baby Yoda, I got, uh, you know, and then my amiibos in the back and stuff, so I was looking for something more decor, so I found something really cool, I know a lot of you guys ask me, what do you, what do you have in the back there, one day I'm going to show you also other things that I have, I'm still kind of building in the new place, so I'll show you all the cool stuff that I have, but this one really stood out, and I thought you guys would really like it, so I wanted to do a review for you guys, bought it in GameStop, so let's get right into it. Hey guys, so this is what it is. It's called Super Mario, obviously, but uh, it's just called that. It's by a company called uh, Paladin. Super Mario Light, so pretty cool. So it's a basically a light cutout, and we're gonna see how the heck this works. Uh, but looks pretty awesome, even natively without it off. But with it on, looks pretty cool also, obviously. So when I saw this, I said, "Wow, I gotta have this. I gotta show you guys how this work. You know how it looks and all that in you know our." in our camera so we could see how it really looks but uh i was kind of taken away by that and i said this would be cool to any gaming room so if you guys are building a gaming room building an arcade machine which i'm doing right now i'm actually working on one i'll probably do a how-to very soon um definitely stay tuned for that uh just uh looking for parts because i want the best of the best so i'm kind of saving up a little bit little by little but um definitely stay tuned for that it's tons it's gonna be tons of fun just to build that baby but um you see here wow okay so that's that <sighs> comes with a instruction booklet which believe me you don't need <laughs> it's very common sense uh you know usb oh it's not a c cable wow that's disappointing um comes with mario cutout which is most likely plexiglass but we'll get into that and this little plastic bit right here that is the controller and stand. So you'll see right here it has, let's take this out first so you can see it much better. So, yeah. So it has some rubber caps here just to kind of, you know, to hold uh, hold its place. I don't, I always hate that they have this thing here. I always hate that. I just wish they have one of those sliding things and that's it. But I guess it's just easier and it doesn't break that way. I'm not sure. And of course, then the LEDs. So just to let you guys know, if you guys use clear um, uh, PLA, I like to use, um, a filament and a 3D print, check out my 3D printing videos. You guys will see what I'm talking about. I did Zelda swords. All kinds of cool stuff like that. So uh, I, I'm working on a Kylo Ren now, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But basically, all you really need to do is just print that. So you don't even need even like plexiglass. You can just kind of print it out and then have like a strip of uh, LED and it'll just be good to go. It's really, really simple. And this is him right here. <laughs> Hold on. I just want to see how this thing goes in here. Kind of funny. Oh, okay. Guess it matters which side you put it on, huh? Here we go. So, looks like this. Super Mario right here, cover. And uh, this is the on and off switch. So, um, oh, no, 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 sorry. This is the, the power <laughs> switch right here. Uh, and if, so I guess you could use it on battery power or have it hooked up to a USB. That's cool. Cause at least it gives you that kind of option. Wow. I did not know that. So until I saw, I don't know why I didn't connect two and two together when I saw this baby right here, but pretty cool. Let's give it a run. So we're going to do this here. Let's see if I could get juice from my Lenovo Legion Go. <laughs> okay, so we got this. Let's see if I can actually get juice from here. That'll be really comical if I could. Because, I mean, technically it's a mini computer. So, oh, wait, never mind. Uses a USB A. I would need to get a converter. I'm sure it could do it. But uh, let's just see how the heck this works. Uh, 
just gonna power this baby on somehow. And I guess you just, there you go. So you see, forgive, that's my predator turning in the background. Pretty freaking dope, I'm not kidding. Pretty freaking dope. I think it looks cool just like this. But to have him lit up, and I gotta show you. Let me just shut off the lights here. I did a review on this light also. But guys, just check out how cool this damn thing looks. Okay, off, on. Kind of see, like, it looks so freaking dope. Let's take a look at the back. Would have been cool if they actually had it also in the, like a backside to him. But instead of just kind of like that. But this in itself serves. And I love the fact that it has a battery on here. I just, I don't, the thing that I don't get is there's no on and off switch. So if you were to put a battery in here. Oh, actually, what am I saying? They do have an on and off switch, this thing. So it's pretty cool. Give me one moment. I'm going to see what battery we need for this. So you need three uh, AA batteries. And basically we're just gonna screw this in right now. If I remember exactly how, here we go. <laughs> um, always helps to have one of these babies. Just remember it's plastic, so you kinda wanna hand tighten them after a while. But we're gonna just try to see how this works. There you go. So then I'm just gonna hand tighten. Just to make sure we got a, there you go. You don't want to overdo it because plastic, you know, it'll crack. And right here. So now you have a cordless design. So give me one moment. There's my homie right there. You guys could see him right on my shelf. Earned his place near the 3D printed, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Harry Potter wand holder that I made, which I'm going to be doing a giveaway for that after I, even though I finished Hogwarts Legacy, I'm working on some more things and then I'm going to do a giveaway for that. Uh, and of course the wand that you see there, I got from Universal Studios a while ago. But as you see guys, it looks really cool. As part of like your gaming memorabilia or something like that, you know, for your gaming room, it looks pretty dope. Uh, I didn't see a Luigi. I didn't see a Princess Toadstool, so I'm kind of bummed about that. I would have loved to have them, but I think Mario is the way to go. And I love the cordless design, the fact that you could just put a battery in there and you're good to go. So anyways, guys, as always, I buy this with my own money. I work three jobs to make this happen. I'm not a paid for reviewer telling you to get things, not shooting out links, not doing any of that. I got this baby from GameStop. Just go there and ask them for it or uh, look for it probably on Amazon. They probably have it. It's pretty freaking cool. There's no doubt it's LED, so I'm sure it's not going to take that much power even if you use it on a USB, but uh, pretty cool. And like I said, you can make these things in 3D uh, printing, but these you'd have to laser cut because this is plexiglass and it's just better than... Uh, see through PLA, which just kind of is kind of cloudy. This thing you could see right through it looks pretty freaking cool and love the cordless design. Again, I cannot say this enough. Just like I put all my LEDs on these on uh, uh, these uh, places here. It's just nice to have uh, something like that in the background. Looks pretty cool. Kind of my uh, Nintendo Couture. <laughs> Anyways, guys, like always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Helps the algorithm a lot. Helps people have to sift through less garbage to get to the truth, to hear real information from people like you and I. I love you guys that you're offering Patreon services, but again, Trust me, I got this. That's why I don't have one. i rather you guys keep that money. We live in uncertain times. Spoil yourself. Spoil your family. Get these things here. <laughs> you know, uh, build that gaming room. Build that arcade. You know, definitely enjoy your lives. And, you know, God bless you all. And, uh, you know, I got this. Trust me. I, I work three jobs, like I said, to, to make this happen. And I'm so happy. And you guys are doing more than enough by joining my mission. That's the reason I opened this channel in the first place to give people real information because I got sick and tired of those paid for yuppies. So you guys are helping me together. You guys are the jury. Do you have any other ones? Did you find the Princess Toadstool or Luigi? Let us know in the comment section below. That's the cool part. We're all helping the community at large make better informed decisions. And that's what my purpose here on this channel is a little bit over a year. And we're already on our way to 10,000, which is not bad at all. Just word of mouth, no advertising, none of that. So as I always say, guys, Share it with everybody you know. Make the family grow. Comment down below. 
Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it. And I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.